Hi to everyone. This is Jacob sir. Today I am going to explaining you about JDBC. Guys, many of the student asking me about the JDBC, right? And before going talking about JDBC in detail, first my question is why JDBC required in Java? Guys, the only one point. While we are developing Java application, basically Java application for to developing standalone application, web-based application. But our Java file, it may be, suppose if you take Java class or any Java code, and the one Java file won't store the data permanently. So what I'm telling you, our Java file won't store data permanently. Java file store data temporarily only. Suppose you want to store the data permanently. Here we required database and database software only store the data permanently. So now here my requirement is actually values, what value you are going to giving in Java code and that value we can store in four ways by using variable, by using arrays, by using object and by using collection object. But if you stored your value inside variable, object, arrays, collection object, and these four object store the data temporarily in your class. And from here, I want to store my data permanently, then go with JDBC. So clearly I give it why JDBC is required. Simple thing, simple thing, Java, simple thing, Java file, Java file, store data, store data temporarily, temporarily, right? Temporarily. And so temporarily only. If you store data permanently, then what we require? Database is required. But here, Java is a one kind of software means Java. So by using Java, what software you are going to developing, that is one kind of software. And here database is nothing but another kind of software. Now here my requirement is Java data, Java application data, I want to store in database. Before going to store the database, initially what we required, connection is required. And after connection is done, from Java application to, I want to store data in database. Means uh, between Java application to database, we are going to transferring some data, right? And before going to interchange some data between Java application to database, we required one API. The API is what's our JDBC API. And this JDBC API given by Java people means server microsystem and uh, okay then what is JDBC we'll discuss one by one guys very simple okay JDBC stands for Java database connectivity JDBC stands for what Java database connectivity simple simple the use of JDBC is to establish connection from Java application to any relational databases. First, what is my requirement today? Our Java application won't store data permanently. Now I want to store data permanently. What we required? Databases are required. Before going to store data in database, first what we required? Connection is required. So who will do create the connection? For that, creating connection and interchange data between Java application to database, they given separate uh, what uh, API that is what JDBC API. The purpose of JDBC is what establishing connection from Java application to any relational databases. And after complete connection, now we are going to performing here CRUD operation. So simple thing, don't be confused about, about your CRUD. CRUD means what? Create and this command using for creating new tables at the same time creating new databases in your databases. 
And here I given any relational databases means we can use a Oracle database, Oracle database, or we can use a MySQL database. Like this, we have a many databases we are going to using to store our data. Now, and, uh, and performing crowd operation. Now, here's what, sir, creating means what? If you create new tables or you create new database, then they given the one command. The command is what? SQL command is what? Create. And from CRUD, I'm talking about read. R stands for read. Read means what? Retrieving data. To retrieve data from database to in our Java application, here we are going to using one command. The command is called select. The next operation is what? Update. Suppose you want to update existing records. Then here we are going to using the update command. And before updating, we are going to inserting also. So means update means what? You can modify your data or you can insert new data. Then go with two commands. The first command is update command. And second command is what? Insert command. The next one, suppose you want to remove the existing records. Then go with a delete. Delete data. For delete data, the given separate command is what? Delete. Delete. So delete command given. Delete command they given. So finally, why JDBC establishing connection and performing any crowd operation with the database? So let us see. I will show you a small, small diagram. You can easily understand. Suppose, guys, this is nothing but my Java application here. Okay. Java application always store the dot Java. Right, and uh, with dot Java, I developed one application. What is the application? Java application. And please understand, it may be standalone application or web based application. Either standalone application or Java application. For what dot what dot Java file you are going to create? That dot Java file won't store data permanently. Now from here, from dot Java to I want to send my data. Then what we require, sir? Here, one database is required. This is what? My database. This is my database. Okay. This is nothing but a one kind of application. This is nothing but a another kind of application. Between these two applications, I need to or create the connection. Create the connection. For creating connection, they given one API. The API name is what? JDBC API. JDBC API. So by using by using JDBC, I am enable connection between Java application to database, and I am going to performing the CRUD operations. CRUD means simply I am going to exchanging the information between Java application to Java application to any relational databases. Any relational databases. Now here I am going to sending the data. Either using variable means a, a variable and an object. But finally, in my database, data can be stored always in tabular format. That means every data can be stored in a rows and column format. Right? And here columns indicate what our our database column names, database column means a database column names means a Okay, here I am giving names and next one is what something called salary I am going to give you. Right? So these are the what we call attributes or we can call them names. And here I am giving some records. Something called one art one. And here I am giving what a Yakub. And here I am giving salary is called something 90,000 like that I am going to give. You. Right? And if you want to store data, suppose this data actually I given in my job application. But uh, same data I am going to store in permanently in database. Here we required one important component is called JDBC. Right? I hope you understand this diagram. So now this one is good. But sir, okay. And what can do JDBC? What can do JDBC? Guys, clearly I given with four line text, you can easily understand. The point number one, making a connection to database. First one. JDBC purpose is what? To making connection between Java application to database. Next one, creating SQL or MySQL statements. In JDBC, by using JDBC, 
simply we are going to creating mysql queries or sql queries simply we can call statements and after complete sql queries now that queries i want to execute in database so executing that sql or mysql queries in the database after complete execution means i saved some data i inserted some data okay then i want to modify some existing things existing records i want to remove that record then simply what we call viewing means view our data modifying existing record and view our result these things can do by our jdbc simply these are the four points then next point sir in what application means clearly understand jdbc for java application by using java most of the time we are developing two types of application the first one is a stand alone second one is web based application and one more is one more is there that is what a mobile application so that is not required to us here but uh, mostly by using java nowadays developing two types of application the first one is stand alone second one is web based application so that's why to developing stand alone application means even stand alone application also connect with database simply what we call java applications and by using sometime we are going developing web based application so in java to develop web based application they given two types of technologies the first one is servlet technologies and second one is a jsp technology so what i am telling you by using servlet and jsp simply we are we are going developing web based application even you connect your java web application with database here also we are going to using our jdbc all right and this is the simple introduction part of our part of part about our jdbc so later we'll see and how to establish the connection what kind of statements we required and how to perform our collaboration we'll see one by one with next videos okay i hope you understand thank you